Okay, I did an earlier demo of uh, the touch flow and the HTC touch. One thing that people have been talking about with the touch is it's a great touchscreen interface device. Simple, very few buttons, that kind of thing. But then people, a lot of people like to text message, maybe send short emails, but the text input is one area that's kind of lacking in the touch. So I wanted to show you a couple alternatives here. The first one here is the standard keyboard, and this is actually the large formatted keyboard. And as you can see, that's near impossible for me to use a thumb or a finger to actually enter text. Let me go ahead and um, I'll just tap new with a stylus for a new note. Now, if I was to use the keyboard, as you can see, it's very difficult to actually touch a letter and want to hit the right one. So I've loaded a couple of alternative key, uh, text inputs uh, that I personally like and that are available. One, let's just try this, is the SPB full screen keyboard. I have never really tried this alternative much, but I just wanted to show it to you. See, this would allow you to have a full screen keyboard, and then you could use your thumbs or your finger and pretty accurately go ahead and enter, you know, enter fairly, fairly decently. Now, my personal favorite that I like to use and that I loaded up on here and tried and actually worked pretty well is uh, Messages from XID. Xideas. See, Messages has a... Uh, Let's see if I, I think if, it's, if I go down, that's the normal one, which is actually quite small. So if you take the question mark and you flip it up, there you go. It's a pretty full size, but you still have lots of room to actually see what text you're typing with. One thing you can see about messages is that there's uh, kind of like a keypad. There's nine letters across in the, in the box. Now what you do is you actually touch and slide to get the alternate letters. Say if I want the M, I touch the R and slide to the left. There goes M, A, T, T. See, I'm pretty accurate with uh, messages. I've used it before, so I'm kind of familiar with where the touches and slides are, but it's a great text alternative. Now, say, well, well how do I enter number of punctuation? You just take this, and I believe it's a move to the left. Yeah, move to the left, and there you go. You've got your numbers and punctuation. Move back to left again, and back to numbers. So messages is a great alternative, or SPB key pocket keyboard. And there are some other alternatives like the T9 input panel that used to be on, like the iMate Jam and those kind of things. Um, it'd be nice to see um, HTC come out with some kind of alternative for people to use uh, text entry input on the T-Mobile or the HTC Touch.